Hello! If you are a 3D printer enthusiast like me, then this video will be helpful for you. For some time now, my grandmother has been upset that I have been using her oven to dry filament for my Ender 3D printer. So, I decided to get this Creality Space Pi filament dryer. Today I will unbox it, set it up and I will tell you why it's useful. The first thing is that it's really easy to start using. Warm up your printer to pull out the filament. Then take the spool and place it inside the Creality filament dryer. And you're ready to go. It's nice that each filament type already has default temperature settings, which makes the job easier. Select the filament type, set the time and the drying process begins. Of course, you have the option to adjust the drying temperature. I recommend from time to time rotating the spool, as the dryer itself doesn't do this. It will help the spool dry more evenly. The dryer in a maximum peak uses over 200 watts of energy. This dryer is in the quietest and you wouldn't want to put it in your bedroom. Definitely, it sounds louder than a gaming laptop on full fan speed. A cool feature is that you can directly use the filament from this dryer to your 3D printer, saving time and improving print quality. If you print every day, you probably won't need this dryer, but if you're an amateur like me, who prints only a few times a month, then any filament dryer, even your grandmother's oven, will help ensure your prints come out well and avoid spaghetti messes. If you have any questions while watching the video, feel free to comment below. But now, let's get to the unboxing and setup.